And Tony, I don't think I've told you this, but back on uh, March the 5th, 2001, I was in Oklahoma City with some people holding a meeting. And anyway, it was a powerful service. And I was just praising God. And the Lord spoke to me and said, someday the people in this room will be telling the young people of their generation what it was like to be a part of the third great awakening in America. And I wouldn't have used that term. I might have said revival or move of God, but great awakening is just not a term that I would use. And I, so I thought, this has got to be God. And I said, are you telling me that we're going to have a third great awakening? And he said, nope, it's already here. It's already started. And I've talked to David and Tim Barton, and they believe the same thing. And I really believe that we are going to see a turnaround. And, you know, if Trump would have been elected, I think that the church would have just pushed the snooze button and continued to sleep. But Biden and all of Pelosi and all of them have just pushed so far that it's waking up the uh -huh. church. And I think that we are going to see a turnaround. That's my prophecy. I, you know, when I first got involved in the political realm back uh, 25, 30 years ago, you know, I, I kind of looked at it as you would have an urgent uh, need to get involved, kind of like Minutemen that we would respond to the call, then we would go back to life as normal. And then mm -hmm. what the Lord showed me over time is that this is life as normal. As Christians, we are to be salt and light all the time. We're to be informed and engaged. Doesn't mean that's our full-time job, but it means that we're paying attention to what is happening and we are responding with the truth, whatever the situation may be. And so I think what we're trying to do is raise up more responsible Christians who understand their call to be engaged constantly. You know, whether it's at your child's uh, school, whether it's in the local community, we cannot be silent because silence is acquiescing to where the left wants to take this country and the culture. 